It's the 20th of August, and this is your daily crypto update. We're going to be covering a few things on Solana, a little bit on Simon's meme coin, and then plenty of opportunities and decent actionables. So let's dive in. All right. So firstly, the actual token prices. Bitcoin's up a little bit. Uh, ETH is coming up as well. And Solana has jumped up as well. Nothing much here. There'll be some bigger movers amongst some of the meme coins, like Brett and Whiff. Aave's doing really well. And Flocky's gone up. I think this has gone up primarily because of CAT. We'll go over that shortly. First bit of news relates to Bitcoin and hash ribbon signals the end of minor capitulation. So hash ribbons is something that I'm new to, but basically you've got this indicator and indicators just take different data. They put it through an algorithm and they spit out some sort of information to sense if something's happening likely or not. So with this one, essentially it doesn't indicate that it's a bottom necessarily. Although the indicator isn't meant to pinpoint the exact price bottom, it often precedes higher prices by signaling a reduction in selling pressure from miners. And the last time that this happened was before the halvening. So we kind of saw here, boom, here, boom, here, uh, not so much here. So you can see there's a decent amount of relevance uh, before it goes up, basically. This one being one minor difference where it kind of continued down. So what happens? Who knows? But it's another piece of information which is suggesting we are still very much in this bull market. Coinbase has put this out and quite uh, quite incredible that they put it out as like a public company, but they're not picking sides. They're just saying candidates looking to win in November probably shouldn't ignore these numbers because it was the young voters who decided the last election and it's looking like history is going to repeat. So learn why young crypto voters are a crucial voting block. A lot of young people hold crypto. Go and vote for whoever you think is going to represent you know, all of your goals uh, in your country, but also crypto. Next bit of news. The SEC, this is like a FUD piece, talks with ETF issuers over concerns of Solana being a security preceded CBOE removing 19B-4. This is all kind of legal speak. I don't understand exactly what this is, but relates to the fact, you know, it's an, it's an aspect of an ETF application. However, Matthew, who is head of digital assets research at Van Eyck, says, our, our ETF remains in play. And there's something along the lines of um, they can file rule changes, whatever, that can, I guess, change the game. But down here, it also says, for the record, Van Eyck believes Sol is a commodity much like BTC and ETH. I'm fairly confident, literally, that if Kamala is elected president, just for as an FYI, she said she'll make the treasury director Gary Gensler. And if that happens... Like crypto is kind of, it's kind of screwed. Crypto in the US is probably screwed and it will be a far more bearish vibe for sure. Like I would revise all my targets because they're so anti-crypto. So, you know, hopefully this ETF plays out. We'll have to see what happens. Another reminder, always bookmark the Solana crypto calendar. We've got the 20th here. There's a few different things here. One thing in particular is the Simon's Cat meme and there's a Bitmart bonk giveaway that research has put in. This gives all of the times when the pre-sale starts in UTC. I'm properly bullish on this. I'll have another couple of videos out on it today. One, how to use the the Telegram trading uh, bot. And then another one, just more on my thesis on why I think it's going to go good. I've got a source and a video tutorial here as well. But basically, this pre-sale, exclusive access for a token stake is first, which we've already covered. It's too late to get in now. So we'll have to see how it does. I think this will do well. And then others will try to copy in its footsteps and most of them will fail. So not everything that launches on this token launchpad will be a success. Exactly the same as the LFG launchpad. But the IP is just so, it's so good. I'm sure it's going to do well. If you want one post to cover it all, just have a look at this. And I'm in the master tier. So 10 p.m. UTC. uh, That's when I will be entering with $3,000. This is a video. Check it out as well. Now, because we're too late to the party now, if you haven't jumped into this, that's completely fine. What you have to do is you have to connect your wallet, a MetaMask wallet, and then you have to put in your stake to work out what tier you're going to be in. I think the only worthwhile tier is Champion. But the unfortunate thing with Champion, I say worthwhile is because like it's a, it's affordable. You can go in with $1,000. However, Master is really where you want to be because if you get Master, you will be able to get some sort of allocation. Legend will get some, Hero, and then Master will get the majority. And then Champion, everyone in Champion is just going as fast as they can. So if this goes well and you think there's some sort of future in this particular platform, then you may want to grab some tokens. Just keep in mind that if you're in Champion, you need to get in fast before the allocation goes. Master is where it needs to be. But I now, I think I have like 87,000 tokens staked. I started with like 3,300. I had to keep on multiplying. And the actual, the, the no nonsense take, is you need to go with four years to get that multiplier. This will give you 16 more points, 16x more points. 
compared to three months. The TLDR is the public sale starts at this time, August 21st. It does say uh, 22nd, some tweets. So I'm not sure exactly if that is like a Binance listing on the 22nd. I'm not entirely sure. Although we can see that we can claim this on the 22nd. So the public sale goes, launch, goes live here. Then it's like this. Not perfectly sure how this is going to work. My assumption is there'll be nothing left for the public sale. So for a day, nothing will happen until they put in liquidity and then you'll start to see buy and sell pressure. We'll see how it all works out. Flock has also released this. And if we have a look at this blog piece here, we'll quickly open this up. This goes over a few things that, which I've covered in the other video that's offshooted. Uh, one thing is if I was going to be buying Flocky right now, as far as I understand it, the snapshot's going to be taken on the 29th of August and I'm more inclined to buy it on Binance because I believe they're getting 900 billion cat tokens and which is like 10% of the supply and there's only 18.5% as a airdrop. So they're getting the majority. So this is where I'd be buying for some Flocky. I already bought some, but I might even send it to Binance. Flocky is also going to be investing 200,000 from the Flocky treasury in the Simon's cat token. You can have a look at the snapshot here. Basically, pretty much everyone has voted yes. You can vote yourself. I'm not sure about voting with Flocky. I have never done it. This is using snapshots. So it's a different system on EVMs, but it's very workable. There's no transaction fees or anything like that. Simon's cat also has a new telegram. I've seen some Chinese characters in there as well as English. So when things start to go, you know, across different languages, I'm far more bullish on these sort of things. I'm really excited for this. I don't, I just, I don't want to be overhyped something because I don't, I don't like to shield something and like something like a meme coin will often fail. Just remember there's things on Solana like Water on Soul. I think they raised $50 million. They absolutely did nothing. They did the same thing with Time. They did the same thing with Bear. And all these things, they just extract a stupid amount of liquidity. And the only people that make it are these guys. And like, this is not worth $50 million in, in, in any way. Away from meme coin news and onto Camino. So Camino season two distrib distribution is now available for claim. And when you claim it, it's automatically staked upon claim. Stakers will soon be able to stake their tokens into uh, Camino governance. So Camino governance is coming soon. Click on this, go to that link, but basically come here, connect a wallet, connect, go and claim and stake it. Or you can, um, it will automatically stake. You can then unstake it. And if you want to, there's a new strategy here that's getting PYUSD rewards, which is decent. And the TVLs, I mean, there's no met points, unfortunately. And that's where the party's at. But there's 5,000, so 5K. The TVL on this at present is low. So I would be keen to jump in this for a week or so and then probably pull out as soon as the reward started to, to go down. In terms of the actual distribution, seven in, the, in season one, um, there was 150,000. And then season two, it's 350,000. Still a linear distribution. So Camino is my biggest DeFi dApp for sure. It Pretty much everything is in Camino. And just by using Camino, you're getting points which gets you this token. And I don't think that happens. I don't think that's true of Drift. Drift did their thing. In my opinion, like they did not reward very decently at all. Um, but it was okay for some. If you really used it, that was fine. Or if you got lucky with Lulo or whatever, you got like a hundred just for like routing some US dollars into there. But Camino is just doing so much more. So I'm really far more bullish on this token. But we still need to do a proper deep dive into like buying the token. I'm not saying buy the token. I'm saying use Camino, not financial advice, use Camino and accumulate the points. Now what I'm going to say is not legal advice, but if you can't use something because of a geo restriction, you do have VPNs available. I'm not saying you should do it because it may be against your laws. I'm just letting you know that is an option. Also with Lulo, remember, go and connect your wallet and then you can claim soon. It's not live yet, but I imagine within a couple of days it will be. You can go and claim your community tokens for season two. Season one, this is uh, ended. So if you didn't claim it, you lost it. And if you see Boba Opa, just be careful claiming this. Like it was 73 cents in Seoul as a transaction fee to get less than a cent of this. So you probably don't want to claim that if it's too low. A little bit more news on Camino is more so with Moonwalk Fitness. So I didn't know this. I don't know who this person is, but uh, well done if they're part of organizing this. The winner each week of the Camino's Walk Fitness game is they get a thousand Camino. So if you're doing lots of steps and if you're number one, you're going to go and grab a thousand Camino, which go on LP with it, sell it whatever. And at the same time, get your steppies in. Another one here as well. So I think they do this every week. In fact, if you jump into Camino's Discord, they do quizzes and all sorts of things in order to get points that, that then equate to Camino being given away. I haven't had the time. I've only just jumped in there because mostly I just kind of ping the team on Telegram. Um, but Discord, if you want some Camino and if you've got some time, worthwhile. Next bit of news, Grass. So as we get up for the airdrop, please make sure you've linked your preferred wallet and you have to verify it. 
So you come here, verify your email address, verify your wallet address, and you confirm the wallet in your email. I'm still using Grass, I'm fine with using it. I want to see when they turn on like selling the data and producing revenue, how that works. And I want the same thing to be done with Uproc. And then we've got two decent dApps out there that are starting to actually create revenue. That's what I want. I don't know how long until Grass does it and how long until Uproc does it. But when it happens, I'll let you know. There's no point in me jumping into Discord and saying when, when, when. Like that, They want to do it as fast as possible. But they, of course, need to work out the right partnerships and, and get a fair price for their data. Drift has introduced Bet, which is good for them. A uh, little bit of a shame for like hedgehog markets. I think they're like, I've seen on some tweets, their UI is not like perfect yet. But you can use hedgehog markets or Bet to bet on the future. Poly markets is still definitely the GOAT, but this is available on Solana. And I don't even know what this means. So I hope like if we click onto it, it kind of gives us some information. No, it doesn't. So will Kamala Harris win the popular vote? I don't even know what a popular vote is. Uh, will Donald Trump win their two presidential election? You've got the US elections, you've got Formula One coming soon, Solana and sports. And then there's other things coming. So you may want to check this out. One thing to keep in mind is that these, you don't know what who's going to win, right? You can have your bias and you can have your goal of who you want to win. But all you really need is one person to go in and put more money into the market, one person or like one group of people to make it look. And then if you get the media on your side, which is very hard because some is more is left, but some is right, then they're going to have different surveys on, on the popularity. Donald Trump was looking very favorable and now this has come on down. I, who knows? Let's just wait and see. Uh, now we've got some unfortunate news, but also a good reminder. As I get more and more active with producing videos, more followers will come, more people watch these sort of things, which is great. The issue being, like, people will pretend to be me. This happens all the time. Like, my friend Jason Pizzino, uh, he just says, like, like, look at all these. You know, that's what's going to happen. So just be aware. I'm not going to go pinging people. I'm not going to ask you to send me money or anything. That will happen to me far more than what it already does. It doesn't happen very often. It's even worse when whatever's happened to a DAP, a big DAP that has VC funding, a good team gets targeted and um, they lose their security. Operational security is so, so vital. I've got some videos on like how to avoid scams. People don't watch them until they are scammed. It is worth speed watching them. FYI, with Parcel, their Twitter uh, is hacked um, and then the front end of their website is hacked. So I don't know if we can go and withdraw liquidity, uh, but they basically, they're draining the UR token. So, I mean, the smart contracts are literally breached, which is freaking terrible and unexcusable. So I don't know if Parcel's even going to be able to repair themselves from this point. We'll have to see. It is possible, of course, a decent amount of damage damage control, reimbursing people, but we'll have to see what happens. For now, Blowfish has blocked this. So if you have um, Blowfish extension installed, you won't be able to access the website. Parcel intern, intern says, the account is also compromised. Do not interact with the DAP or X account. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep you updated, but join the Discord. Just don't click on any links. Just You're waiting for like proper news that's verifiable. And this happened at prox 10 p.m. UTC yesterday. It's front end and social account compromise. Another thing that's been going around is another malicious extension. And if I just kind of get out of full screen for a second, I have DeFi Llama, which has been around for a long time. This is good. I've got my software wallet, I've got one password, and I've got this um, thing which I've used for years. But even this, maybe you shouldn't have. You can always create more browser profiles. You can go into here with Chrome, Brave, whatever, and have different browser profiles. And from there, you know, if you want to just have your MetaMask, your Phantom, or preferably, of course, Soulflare in that just by itself, that's probably the safest thing. If you start adding all these random extensions, you run to risk. What happened with this one is that an extension called Gannet basically scanned the holders of meme coins. It has read and write access when it didn't need to. It would go and change the address when you were about to withdraw some funds and it would change the copy address and it would put it into a different address. Entirely malicious. And the Jupiter team, they wouldn't spend hours working this out because a couple of people were targeted, which is, I mean, as Slork says, people know, have no idea how goated the Jupiter team is because three community members were affected. Ultimately, just improve your operational security for starters, and then just it'll be easier to educate people. Now we've got some more news from Leverage, or some news from Leverage. So they launched late June. I played around with it very briefly. They're on the Jupyter uh, planetary call, but back then we had so much congestion, I didn't really get to have a play on it. Either way, they now have a points program, and this is if you want to leverage up or down, I believe, some meme coins. So this could be worth looking at if you think something's going to pop or if you think something needs to be shorted. Pathfinders Mint. So 
In order to get these whitelist tokens, you just had to hold Pathfinder Soul. And I had a random wallet that had a couple of uh, Sanctum LSTs, and they end up having one of these tokens. These tokens you can now go and buy. They are like 0.3 Soul. Essentially, they have been as high as like about 0.6, and you have to mint one of these, and then you can, uh, like, when is it happening? 27th of August. And then you pay two, two soul, and you can always convert your soul, your path soul back into, you can always burn your NFT and get back your soul. I don't know how this works. I'm just putting it on your radar for a couple of reasons. One, you may have a whitelist token, and you may not want it. And I imagine after the 27th, it's it's worth nothing. So go and grab yourself 0.3 soul. I have two of them in my wallet. Uh, and I, I sold one, and I'm unsure what I'm going to do with the other one. I'm keen to know. If anyone knows properly about Pathfinders, and if you think I should mint it, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, go and check your wallet if you were jumping into Sanctum, because maybe you've got one of these if you held some Pathfinders soul. Next bit of news is from Benny. Listen, one month left until Breakpoint. Here are the top 20 events to have an unforgettable time. If you're going to Breakpoint, I hope to see you there. I'm not going to necessarily recognize you, but you should recognize me potentially. Come and say hi. You want to go and actually apply for these now. If you go to Breakpoint and then start applying, you're in trouble. So have a look at these, some things you may want to get into. Uh, I've also got this video on Breakpoint itself. Check that out. There's also a Solana Foundation. They're running something here on September 17th in Singapore. Don't know exactly what it is, but it's essentially a day of uh, like leaders talking about stuff. You have to request an invitation. September 17th, right before, and this is held in conjunction with Token 249. And these are some of the, the chatter, chatters. And it starts at 12 and it ends at 6. If this is something that you can kind of add value to and extract value from, this would be worth going to as well, in my opinion. I'll be doing it. Now, uh, next thing we have is potentially, this is pump.fun. We don't know. We'd have to get confirmation. But uh, so, you know, someone says it is. I don't know if it is. But someone's been um, selling a whole lot of soul since January 15th. I don't even know when pump.fun actually properly started. Either way, someone's selling. If we find out who it is, you can, you know, you decide whatever you want, want to do. But if it is, like with pump.fun, they are selling. Like, I would much rather someone build something that isn't pumped up fun. They go and stake some soul. Stake with validator.com. They go and stake some. They sell some, but they bet on the actual network. Pumped up fun is just purely extractive. It's rubbish. All right, let's move into some actionables. Simon's Cat pre sale launch um, launches at 2 p.m. UTC today for those people that have like a decent allocation. Watch my video on Simon's Cat meme coin. Claim your community season two airdrop and stake them or PYUSD LP them. Lend PYUSD on Lulo 5 for 90% APY. And remember, stake Bonk on bonkrewards.com to participate in Bonk.live. Airdrop actionables, grass, verify your soul wallet before August 23rd. Meteor pools, get on those. Lend some USDC on NX Finance. You can follow Fabiano's guide. It will be linked below. And get $100 worth of Flocky on BNB or ETH. Preferably, maybe even Binance. You might get more like that. Thanks very much for tuning in. That's all for today. We'll end this here.